excuse my hair again. Um, yeah, it's this drain is painful. I can't take this pain anymore. I don't want to take it anymore. And whatever follows, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. But as for my results, which I will show you, um, I like my results. I like it a lot. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how what I'm using to take my uh, drain out. So this is one of these, which is the Walmart brand of antibacterial um, gauze pads. Awesome. Hand towels. I have some gloves. That is the gauze pads right here, and um, I just poured some alcohol in this glass that I have these little scissors and I think this is like a cuticle remover just in case the scissors isn't sharp enough and I'm gonna go wash my hands and get to it I'm just recording this um tummy tuck edition day 21 so although they are made to come off easy because my skin is so sensitive it still hurts to remove these so I do it very slowly adding compression onto my skin while slowly lifting up the band-aid As you can see not much of anything is on there because it healed so much so tight around the tube I'm thinking I'm gonna have difficulty finding the anchor thread I'm freaking out a little bit here but I know this is something that I have to do and I'm not flying all the way to Austin um, to do it yep. so don't freak out don't freak out this thing hurts so much. Be gentle, be gentle. I don't see the thread, but it hurts. I could feel it, but I don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna need that mirror. So I have a mirror I got at a dollar store that has like magnification I'm gonna use. Oh, I'm gonna need a painkiller. This hurts. <sighs> oh, I see it. I see it. I see the thread. Yes. I see the thread. Oh, awesome. Oh, holy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. So, I'm gonna take these suckers out of here. Let dry off a little bit. I don't care if I have to cut the tube because it's coming out anyway. Man, this hurts. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, I see it, I see it. Ooh. All right, I see all both of them. I can't believe I'm doing this. Freak it out here, guys. I oh, know. No, it's not. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, I need you to stay in place, man. All right. All right. All right, let's clean these off. I'm going to dip it one more time before putting this to my skin. Make sure it's nice and disinfected. Okay. And I'm turning it this way to have as much leverage as I can. These little beezers is sharp and I'm scared to use this. Okay. 
Okay. Progress. Okay, I cut one string off. Whew, okay. I think I link I, I think I released the anchored stitch. I think I released it because it's coming out without any pain or struggle. But the stitch itself don't want to come out. Come on, baby. Okay, I still feel some tension in there. Freak. I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. I gotta come back. Oh you missed it. I just took it out. Oh. oh, I felt it from here. Oh, all the way out. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta go sit down. I feel dizzy. Oh. All right, it's out. Hardly any blood. The stitch is still in there, which is weird. So, I'm gonna cut it as short as I can. Outside of that, I don't know what else to do. It's weird to know that all of that was in me. Whoa. Oh. I will check this three times a day now because I know there's still fluid that has to come out and that's that oops I forgot to disinfect it with the alcohol pad I'm rushing because I feel dizzy thank you Lord Jesus oh. I'm thirsty Done. Bye. And everything. So, it only been maybe, what, half a minute? And I'm already feeling a difference. Like, I, it wasn't pulling to sit. Because <sighs> it takes me like five minutes just to sit properly without it pulling and hurting. Bro, I, this, I already feel a relief where the, um, where I felt. I felt the drain come from up here all the way here and it slid all the way out. It was weird. 
there was quite a few clots in the end of the tube, the white flat part. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm just happy to have that dang painful drain out and I'm happy that my body did heal around it which made it tough to like pull out initially um, so now my body can completely heal uh, without any like tubes interrupting the, f the new flow of things um, so that my body could learn how to get rid of it on this on my right side also so that my incision can, can completely um, close where the tube was so I'm excited about that too Whew, now uh, I should be easier to wear my binders because I had to like makeshift my memory foams around the tube because it was so painful so this just let's just say I'm happy I don't have to think about it anymore it's gonna take some adjusting because I've been dealing with it being painful for so long um, but I'm just, just super happy for it to be. Still day 21. I think it's 6 a.m. now. I've been up since 2.30. There's some sensations going on where the tube was in my tummy. And I don't know how normal that is. I've been relaxing. I put my binder back on. My binders, because I have two on with the memory foam. Um, but I feel like this tingly sensation where I felt the tube move when I took it out um, about 30 minutes ago. Not sure how normal that is, but wanted to make a note of It's still day 21, and I'm about to take a shower. No! What? I'm in a shower! Anyway, um, so I wanted to show you guys that after taking the tube out, I thought I was gonna leak fluid and produce fluid. I changed this um, halfway during the day today. It's dry, there is no fluid. Then I went and I did this. I put paper tape with some gauze um, to cover it up. Okay. So I'm taking the paper tape off and as you can see, you can't even tell where I took it out. And look, this beezer's dry. Like, dry, dry. So, this is where it was this morning. And it's already sealed up. Um, in my tummy area, down here, there's no changes at all. I added a little, I put my compression just a little tighter. Um, just in case, but the fluid didn't come back on this side and there's no fluid on this side. Um, I do feel a little soreness where the tube was here, but I think over the next few days it's going to go away. So yeah, just wanted to show you updates.